Females are, as a rule, more choosy when it comes to short-term sexual partners than males. And this shows up in a couple of ways. It shows up in prostitution. So prostitution is a huge industry in the world. And with very few exceptions, prostitutes cater to male customers. Then there's pornography. Now, pornography may appeal to different sexes. Some people have argued that romance novels are sort of the equivalent to pornography for women. But what appeals to men is often sort of images of, of sexually receptive women. This isn't the same as sort of a one-night stand, but it's a psychologically vicarious one-night stand where this image is enough to, to lead to, to arousal. The only thing interesting I have to say about this is a recent study that suggests this is not an exclusively human vice. So a recent study uh, involved showing pornography to rhesus macaques. The question was, would these monkeys pay to see porn? And so you didn't have a financial system to these monkeys, so they set up a nice apparatus where at a certain point the monkey had a choice. Could either stare at a picture or turn and sip sweet orange juice. Monkeys love orange juice. So the question is, what sort of pictures would they, would they pay, would they give up on this orange juice in order to see? And there were two sorts of pictures that they would, they would pay to see. They would pay to see the behinds of female rhesus monkeys, and they would pay to see the faces of high-status male rhesus monkeys, uh, sort of like the equivalent of a Playboy magazine and People magazine, suggesting that two of the major human vices, uh, pornography and celebrity worship, are in fact not uniquely human.